one of the most unique races in the world of sailing was to take place today. In summary, Istanbul. Starting from the Dolme Bache Palace, then passing under the first Bosphorus Bridge. Proceeding towards the Rumeli Hizari Castle and Kuzik School Kasri, before finishing at the Siragan Kempinski Palace after a fast loop. This is the world famous Bosphorus Straight Race. The athletes arrived early morning at the race course. They had to trim and set after all. This certainly is not a race to be taken lightly. Perfect coordination is very much needed here. Today's scene brings to mind a washing machine, shifting currents and such big waves. It won't be easy. The start of the race found the Turkcell Alize boat on top. A wonderful start to a spectacular sailing event with all boats sailing downwind. Their colorful spinnakers peppering the Bosphorus Strait. A few minutes later on, an Orient Express 6 was passing into the first bridge greatly helped by a strong gust in covering good distance. The rest of the boats were riding those waves. They're spread all over the place as they crossed the bridge, right in front of the Reina Club. Lots of spectators enjoying the race there, invited by sponsors of the Bosphorus Cup American Express. Leading the pack were Kia Lukunku and Turkcell Alize at this point, closing in on the shore. The current was even more helpful to their cause this way. A few meters behind, we encounter Hedef Yelkin, who alongside the Aquara and FB1 Garanti boat were now giving it all they had. A little further back, there was the FS Salize and Iker Ayik Iran boats, now passing right in front of Garatasaray Island. At the same time, some very strong battles between Comet and Orion boats. And yet, it wasn't such a great overall performance for Orion today. Meanwhile, Orient Express had already rounded the first mark and was now passing by Rumali Hisari Castle. At the same time, FB1 and Kia Lukunku were sailing the shift. And the advantage belongs to FB1 Garanti after accomplishing an exciting rounding. But could they beat Kia Lukunku? Goblin 3 was also a part of this struggle. This made for one successful three-way battle today. The rest of the boats encountered serious difficulties with the current while rounding. In the IRC3 race, on the other hand, Sake and Hedef Yelkin were the two now leading the fleet. And after a really fast loop, the boats were now heading toward the finish line, right in front of the glorious Kempinski Palace. Stunning images here, as gusts were reaching 15 knots and the boats smashing into the waves of the Bosphorus. Intense battles today in all the IRC categories, as well as in the one for the Desdek boats. Let's take a look at the results. Everyone will agree to it being a wonderful race day. I, I've raced in many regattas around the world and uh, in terms of location and, and the, the competitiveness, this is by far the best I've ever, ever raced in. Uh, I mean, Istanbul is a great place. To be able to sail with, with two continents, either, one continent either side of you is an incredible, incredible... The top boats taking part are still in contention for the finale winning and landing the prestigious trophy. There's still one day to go, the last day of the American Express Bosphorus Cup. So stay tuned.